Hey, it's Rich, the Louisiana Hobby Guy, and today you found me in the Laser Maker's Realm. <laughs> what was that? All kidding around. Today we're going to do something, uh, a re another religious file, except it's not going to be Christian. It's going to be all of the major religions. So I'm doing a, a, a file that is actually something that you can sell to people, shop owners, and so on that has the symbols of all seven of the major religions. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so um, here we are in Lightburn and this is the file that you'll get. And this file is a sign and what I've done is um, I've created some holes in the wood here. First, I created the sign, and these are the seven major religions. So you got the Star of David, the Wheel of, Wheel of Dharma, uh, the Sikh Kanda, and, you know, I don't know if I pronounced these right or not, so <laughs> don't, don't, uh, don't yell at me for that. The uh, Hindu Om, uh, the Islam, uh, Moon and Star, the Christian Cross, and the atheist, um, well, I guess that's the symbol of an atom, so, uh, or almost the symbol of an atom anyway. But what I've done here is I've created a cut path, and this is, if I select this, almost 12 inches wide. And I kept it under 12 inches because I know a lot of people uh, use 12 inch hob hobby wood. So it's just under that 12 inch, if you look up here at 11.7 and um, should work fine on any 12 inch wood. I did it out of six millimeter uh, plywood and came out perfect. So um, basically all you've got here is an engraved path and the cut path. And I've got the uh, file down below the video. If you look in the show more section of the video, there'll be a direct link to this file so you can download it and burn it right away. These names on here, uh, these are on a tool path t2 you're not gonna uh, have to worry about those at all that's just for your own reference in case you want to know they're not going to burn they're not going to output they're not going to frame or anything yeah there you go this is the entire file uh, just to give you a little trick on positioning in this so these are seven squares down here and this is one rectangle on the top and I've done this in a way where I've put the squares on top of the rectangle to save a little bit of time. Lightburn won't cut both out. And the way that I did that was first I selected everything here like that. And then if you zoom way in on the corner, you can see that there's one line on top of the other there. See the difference in this line right here? So if I hover my mouse over here until it becomes a uh, selector I can move this out like that and you'll see that there is the the different lines and then if I just hold the control key see how it's jumping around snapping if I hold control that'll stop and I can bring this right up to uh, very gently with my mouse till where it is overlapped and let me zoom in oh that happened as drop right in the perfect place. You want this one to be a solid line here. And maybe it's off just a hair. So I'll click it again and get it right where I want it, right there. So now you can see that, uh, and maybe it's still off just a hair, which is not a big deal at this point. It makes really no difference, but I'll try and move it in anyway. Let me click on it and move it to right about there there we go now we're in the right spot so it's perfectly overlapped i lightburn will not cut two of these if you have your optimization settings right and if we come over to the laser tab over here and click on optimization settings in here you're going to see something that says cut inner shapes first and you should have this ticked off so we want to do that because we want to cut the little circles out first okay down at the bottom here, you're going to see remove overlapping lines. This one may not be ticked on. So just go ahead and tick it, tick it on and make it green. And now you can be sure that it's not going to cut double lines over here. 
and that just you know makes the job a little faster I'm also going to uh, put these in a couple of different file formats uh, I know some people that watch my channel uh, do not have Lightburn they use different software so I'll put these in a couple of other formats uh, this way you can download the whole package it'll be a zip file below the video and you can burn it on any device that you want but I also have this as an art library, so uh, that's another thing that you can do. You can download the art library. You don't have to worry about the font up here. The font will embed with the file. You just won't be able to change the wording that's in here. If you did want to change the wording, here is the font that I used up here. Uh, Fust and Schufer, uh, Durandus <laughs> got it. <laughs> Okay, so I got that at defont.com uh, in case you want to go look there. If you want to change the font on this, you'll have to get another font. You will get an error message if you open the Lightburn file saying that the font is not found. Don't worry about that if you're not changing the text because these words up here will be embedded in this font. So you don't have to worry about that at all. So uh, now I've got that video running already of the burn and it's actually a repurposed video i was doing a video for a battery ups and running the machine on the ups so uh, that video uh, i've set this up a little differently than i have here um, changed some of the different settings and made it run as long as possible but i've gone ahead and speeded up that video so you can actually see the burn up top and you can uh, stick around if you want to and watch the entire hyperlapse video of the burn or you can just you know quit now and click on show more and download the file and get to work but there is more coming so don't go anywhere just yet i'm going to show you how i put all of this together and what i used to hang the little squares from the big rectangle and uh, i think you're going to enjoy it all right, so now that we've got the burn out of the way, let's talk about the assembly for this. And I want to show you, uh, I got a little bit creative with hanging these from the main sign. So uh, let's jump into that and uh, see how I did it. So all I've done in uh, for this demonstration is I've gone to my little earring kit and I've gotten one of these little earring pieces from it, as you can see. Over here is the, the kit. You can pick them up on Amazon. They're really cheap. And you can make lots of stuff with this. You could use this for all kinds of things other than earrings. Uh, for this demonstration, I'm just going to show you how I attach these to here. And all I did was I took the earring and passed it through the hole in the back. Like so. All the way up to this hoop. I hope you can see that. And now I've got it uh, sticking out the front. I'm just going to bend it out, make it almost, almost straight, sort of straight. I'm going to take my last piece here, and I'm going to feed it through the front and get to a point, bend it down a little bit, get to a point where I think is the right spot. And I'm not trying to be perfect here. Uh, just enough space to let it hang equally with the others and then just start bending it from the back side and right there looks about good and now I've bent it over on the back side like that as you can see you can see they're all bent over some of them not far enough quite but when you hang it this way it, it hangs very nicely and uh, there we go. So there's all of our little hanging pieces on the sign, ready to put up. And then, of course, you just need to you just need to go ahead and put up put something up on the top, maybe to hang it. Uh, you know, got to be creative. But uh, yeah, so there it is. That's the final product right there, and I think it looks great. I think the the, the project came out great. So there you have it, um, all seven of the major religions. Nice little sign. I used a 12 by 12 piece of wood. It's just the perfect size, something you might want to hang up behind a register, hanging from a shelf or something like that. And I used little nano stickers 
on the back to hold it in place and those nano stickers will hold it forever i'll put a link down below in the description but uh yeah there you go so click on show more underneath the video grab your free file uh, get yourself some 12 by 12 i use six millimeter wood for this um it, it's about a buck and a half a piece maybe two dollars a piece and you can easily sell these for twenty dollars here's the finished product for you to take a look at uh, I've have, I have this hanging in my shop right now, so if anybody comes to visit, they can see that all religions are welcome here, and that that is the case. You know, I believe that that uh, we all uh, have some religion in us, no matter what it is. I've even got the atheist on there. <laughs> so anyway, uh, quick easy video. Thank you for joining me in, in the laser makers realm. And make sure that you watch this this video over here if you want to see something else, or this one over here. This is a, a you know some great uh, projects that you can get done. Uh, but you know, stick around, download some free files, and have fun. Thanks for watching.